What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy MM2K back again with another Stadia dosage. Before we get too deep into this one, do me a huge favor hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all. Straight up, y'all know the slogan say it with me, say it with me, say it with me. Because I'm not too proud to ask. Because without all of y'all, I can't make this happen. And I appreciate the support, so that's why I, I, I don't mind asking. Because if you don't ask, you don't receive, all right? Now, with that being said, I want everybody to join me in a discussion, right? In a serious discussion, okay, about Stadia, all right? Because, and again, you're probably saying, duh, that's why we're here. But no, j just hear me out. There's, th this Stadia experience has been nothing short of a roller coaster ride, right? Um, with the questionable launch, the, you know, the performance that was finally put in people's hands that awed a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Then the unsureness of games that were coming forth to the explosion of games and features and stuff like that, um, that even some of the more favorite consoles can't even brag, you know, which is no paywall for multiplayer and in some cases, sad to say, even achievements, right? <laughs> but that's another video. Um, so in that whole up and down moment with Stadia, you've had, I think the people at Google realize that they stumbled over their messaging. They simply buried their heads in the work and they made things happen. Now, again, messaging and mind share and everything, they still got a long ways to go. But to, to, to make up the gaps and the inefficiencies in their messaging, they've put stuff and they've delivered and put things in our hands, tangible things in our hands rather quickly. You know what I'm saying? I just dropped a video where I talked about how like on the 23rd, two days before Christmas, I had asked and others had asked if they could please drop the price of Rage 2. And out of nowhere on Christmas Day, they dropped the price of Rage 2. Now, that's not to say, and I don't believe that every time we go to the internet, we're going to get what we want. And that's a per perfect segue to what I'm going to talk about, but we're going to get what we want. But again, the customer service has been fantastic. I've had instances where I've returned games and stuff like that. I've not had a problem, okay? Now on to the discussion point of today, which is, you see on your screen, these are the new games coming in January. Rise of the Tomb Raider, the 20th year celebration, and Thumper. Okay. Now, Thumper is not the issue. The issue is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Why is Rise of the... Excuse me. Why is Rise of the Tomb Raider an issue? Because um, it's free and people bought it. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, MM2K, if... So what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you... When games go free on any other platform, you know what I mean? If you bought them the day before, too bad, so sad. That's your problem. If they fall with it, with, outside of the uh, return policy of said platform, then you don't get your money back. You know what I'm saying? It's just what it is. Things go on sale. And if you bought it before they went on, that's anywhere, right? Well, here's what the thing is. With all of that reach for mind share, I think we've... This is my personal opinion. I want to be careful how I say this because this is such a great community and I don't want to be dismissive of anybody. But I think if we sit down and, and we let cooler heads prevail, I think we're honestly starting to get a little bit, just a tad bit, not too much, but a tad bit besides ourselves. All of the uh, problems and concerns that we brought to, to the forefront earlier as far as messaging, as far as what is games coming out, you know, as, as far as a bunch of stuff, I think it was all justified. Here, I don't know, but so much. People are upset that they bought Rise of the Tomb Raider and it's now going to be free. And they're trying to liken it to another situation where the original Tomb Raider reboot was available for sale, I think $10. And then two weeks after the system even launched and it being $10, it was then free. Um, or a situation where, again, 
the Shadow of the Tomb Raider game was $60. A couple weeks after launch, it became $25. People were upset. They're like, this launch lineup was sparse. We were trying to support it. But two weeks after it being available, all of a sudden it went for sale. Like, what's going on? Um, and because of that, because of both of those situations, people got refunds. I was one of them. Shadow the Tomb Raider, I got a refund for, no problem. I told them that I was going to buy it, even though that wasn't like standard for me to get my refund. They were like, okay. But I, I, I stay up on my promises and I missed the sale. Because here's what happened. I bought Borderlands for myself. I bought Borderlands for my son. I bought Ghost Recon. I bought some other stuff. Then it's Christmas time. And I forgot to pick up Shadow the Tomb Raider. But I'm still going to buy it. I'm going to support Stadia because they've been good to me. And I'm going to buy it even though I missed the sale, right? But a lot of people don't feel that way. Okay. Um, And I bought Rage 2 as well. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't feel that way. They feel like that... Any of the games that they bought at full price, that once they go on sale, they should buy them again because Stadia did that with the other titles. But we got, there comes a point in time where we have to say, all right, time matters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is going to be free January of 2020. The system came out on November 8th. 2019 if I got the date right that's damn well two months okay after some point in time you got to say to yourself all right I just missed out on an opportunity but I'll look out for further ones okay we don't want look this has been in light of again I get where they messed up not so much in stuff that they didn't have at launch because they did let us know well in advance stuff that they weren't going to have it's the people that were not interested in the system that wanted to have talks and, and, and talking points in the console war that took that AMA and blew it out of proportion. Notice how most of the people that were complaining about that AMA were people that were never going to buy the system. A lot of us that was going to buy the system, we already knew most of that stuff, right? So that wasn't so much the issue. The issue was for those of us that had the system, not getting your console on time, not getting your buddy pass on time so you can play with your friend, a lot of stuff like that. And they've made up for that. For the, so those of us that were in the know, that were not part of the outrage culture or the idiot herd, that knew about this stuff before the AMA hit, and then still had to deal with additional things like, again, the buddy pass and not getting your console and stuff like that, and some things not working. You have been serviced tremendously by 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 google okay and that wasn't always smooth because again remember we came to a period to where games were being advertised the stadio logo wasn't being shown anymore and we went back to the bully pulpit and we said google what are you doing so this isn't mm2k making an excuse for google but again if we want this to thrive if we want this to become a platform that blooms and is in more homes so it has viability then we got to get out of this selfish realm of i want to get the ultimate deal all the time because i want to kick the i want to kick the system while it's down that's what the outrage culture is doing to make themselves better feel better about their platform that can barely stand at a stable 30 frames per second that's what that's I would expect that from them. I don't expect this from Stadia people. And again, I'm trying I'm trying to be careful, but you know how I get I get excited, y'all. So I'm just saying, just think. But even if you don't agree with me, that's okay. I, all I'm saying is if you fully, wholeheartedly still feel some type of way, just see how reasonable it is. And if after you gauge it and you say, okay, I still feel this way and I'm being reasonable here, this is just my opinion, then that's your opinion. I'm okay with that. I'm just saying, don't follow the herd. Don't just be like, well, you know, Stadia is trying to make a name for itself. So because they were given refunds, listen, we don't care what the ramifications are. Let's get them to refund us on everything. Those of you that are thinking like that, think about, again, the long-term ramifications that would have because Stadia is being very reactionary and making sure that customer service is high since the, you know, the troublesome launch. So let's not take it too far is what I'm trying to say in so many words. 
I get it. If you bought Rise of the Tomb Raider, it's like, damn, I missed it. But now we're getting out of uh, the beta slash early access mode. We're going into full launch. You're going to have to start expecting from Stadia the things that you expect from other people, along with some of the things that, they're pro that they've promised, making sure that they stay true to those, okay? But they can't just, this is, this is a business at the end of the day, and they can't just give us games across the board, okay? So I look at it as a, you missed out on the deal, just like I missed out on the Tomb Raider thing, but that's okay. You missed out on the deal. That's all right. There's going to be other deals down the line. If, if what we've got at the end of 2019 was an indicator of how they readjusted their mindset then you ain't got nothing to worry about you're gonna get plenty of deals okay all right and with that being said again let's let the cooler hits prevail let's go into 2020 supportive of this system because it's doing great all right and think you know before we go wild and with that being said that's it from your boy mm2k let me know what you think about what i had to say on today's stadia dosage because like i always say who cares what i think and if you like what i had to say here you might like what i gotta say elsewhere check me out on the links below to follow me and yo enjoy your 2020 it's right around the corner we will have more stadia dosage uh material coming and right now again these videos are launching on my individual platform but we have a stadia dosage channel you have to go there we want to start launching stuff there. We got some very special things lined up, but I need your help. I need you to go there and sub there, all right? Once we get to 100 subs, then boom, the sky's the limit. With that being said, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.